All right there, Latin two. What I want you to do now is go ahead and do 39G translation. Go ahead. All right, I'm gonna assume that you did it now. Now get out your red pen. Uh, it, is, it is not easy to do poems. Uh, and, and this is Virgil, uh, and you're going to do him for AP in two years. So right now, if you're bad at it, that makes sense. You should be getting to it in two years. So here's what it says, uh, and try to stay within the commas. I think that helps a lot, um, but here's what you should be getting from it, okay? So I sing the arms and the man. Now he's referring to uh, the Iliad and the Odyssey because Virgil is essentially doing fan fiction of Horace's works, um, and uh, who first uh, exiled from the shores of Troy uh, because of fate, came to Italy and the Lavinian shores. Uh, that man, that famous man, that man that we're not going to name, by the way, for quite some time, um, that man, uh, because you're supposed to just know who that man is. Uh, that man, uh, having been tossed about a lot, uh, both on land and at sea, um, by the power of those above, uh, on account of the unforgetting, unrelenting wrath of Juno, uh, and having suffered so much, or... or endured so much, also in war, um, until he, that man again, uh, could found a city and bring his gods in, or until he founded a city and bring his gods into Latium, the place from where uh, the Latin people and the Alban fathers and the walls of lofty Rome uh, came. There you go. So, uh, you just did the first seven lines of the Aeneid. Congratulations. Uh, it's only 9,500 and something or other to go. All right. So, you're done with chapter 39. Uh, cool. I'll see you for chapter 40. I'm going to hit the button.